Hello, this is Mrs. Howard, and today I'm going to show you how you can create a cuneiform tablet using Tinkercad. To get started, you will need a Tinkercad account. Once you're all set with your Tinkercad account, what you're going to do is you're going to be working with these cuneiform letters and find the initials in your name. In my case, we're going to go with M, and I'm going to copy that and paste it in the box here. Then the letter R, which is my middle initial, copy that, paste it in the box. And then finally, the last initial in my name is an H for Mrs. Howard, and I'm going to paste that in the box. These are going to be the three letters that I want to show up on my 3D printed cuneiform tablet. My initials, M, R, H. Your next step is to use your snipping tool to snip those letters so that we can save them as an image. Your snipping tool is found down here. Mine happens to be up here, but sometimes it's going to be buried in your accessories folder. So I'm going to go to accessories, which is where yours is probably hiding. And then you click the snipping tool. Now the screen will become gray, and what you need to do with the snipping tool is use it to draw a box just around the three cuneiform letters themselves. Not around the big box, and not around any other things that will appear, because it will snip them into the image. So I just want a nice neat box around the three initials, and I'm going to let go, and I'm going to save that for use later. So I will name it initials, initials 2, because I've already done this once. So click save. So now that I've captured the initials, it is time to go to Tinkercad because we want to start creating that shape. So Tinkercad is located here, and I'm going to click Create New Design. The object of my project here is to create a tablet that has those three Tinkercad symbols, or excuse me, those three cuneiform symbols on it. So here is your Tinkercad workspace. And if I can reduce my screen, I think you'll be able to see a little bit more of what I'm doing. Okay, so this is the Tinkercad workspace. We're going to be using this image generator feature that Tinkercad has. It might be hidden in yours. So you're probably going to want to click on Shape Generators, then on Tinkercad, and you're going to drag this little pink square onto your work surface. That's going to open up this inspector window, and it's in this inspector window that we're going to upload that cuneiform tablet that we created. So I'm going to click Choose One, and I'm going to upload the initials that I just snipped from my Word document. And as you can see, it uploads the image here, but what it also did that you might not be able to see is it placed that image on the shape in the background. So let me roll my mouse forward so you can get a closer look at what it's done. So it has actually placed those three symbols embossed upon the surface of this shape. And embossed just means it's kind of like carved into it. So when it's 3D printed, it'll look like those letters are carved into this. Now, in order to effectively print this, we want it a little bit thinner. It is rather thick. So when you're editing things, it's these little squares that allow you to check your shapes, adjust your shapes, rotate, and alter the design. So I do want my design a little bit thinner, so I'm going to pull on this little square because I want to get it, let's get it just right here, this little square here, because I want to get it to be about two millimeters thick. That way it's not too, I guess you could say, not too chunky. Um, the next thing is, if you decide that you want this to be a key ring, I'm going to show you how you can add an attachment to it so that it's not just a square, but rather you've got a loop on it so that we can make a key ring. So I'm going to use some of these buttons so you can sort of see how you can rotate around your image and look at it from different perspectives, which is always really a helpful thing to know. Okay, these tools right here help us a lot. As you can see, my item is sitting on the surface of the builder's field. I can see the design of it from underneath, from on top. I could rotate it if I wanted to. I could also click on these and it will tell me the dimensions of my item. So it's 6.36 millimeters wide this way and then 20 millimeters lengthwise this way and then we also checked before, see if I can get that to show up, we had a height of 2 millimeters. So that's just about right. But what I'm going to want to do is add an attachment. So I'm going to go back over here to my menu and I'm going to find the torus shape because the torus shape makes a really nice loop. 
and I'm going to slide that tour shape over here to my item. Now, obviously, it's way too big, so I need to size this down. Let's click off of it here. We're going to make it the same width, which we said was 2 millimeters. We definitely need to get it smaller so that it fits within our rectangle. So you have to do a little manipulating to get it to fit just right. Okay, I've got the right thickness, but the problem is it's kind of oblong. It's kind of crooked. So I want to slide it in, move it around a bit so I can get it to kind of hang on to the end without sticking out. Ah, now we're getting a little bit closer. I'm going to continue to rotate around so we can see it from all perspectives and we know that it's symmetrical and not sticking out. So let me zoom in a little bit. All right, we're looking pretty good. I'm going to go Okay, so I'm pretty happy with that. That looks like it's just about the way I want it. It's not sticking out the top, not sticking out the bottom. Now, the color is not important on this because when we print it, it's going to be printed in the color of the filament that you have in your printer. But if it bothers you, you can certainly change the color to match. So your final step with your item is to link the items together. So I'm going to click on this main rectangle. I'm going to hold my shift key down. I'm going to click on the loop and I'm going to go up here to the group because this will group those items together. That means they are now one object that can be moved together. So I have one item and it's ready to go. So our final step is to click design and click download for 3D printing. So we want to download the selected shape and we want an STL file. Sometimes it does take a while for this to respond. Once you've downloaded that STL file, you'll see it in the lower left-hand corner of your screen with kind of a crazy name unless you've renamed it something else. But this one is going to be called Brave Crift, and I'm going to be saving that Brave Crift file and uploading it to Google Classroom so that my teacher can take a look at it and possibly print it. So that's very quickly how you can cre create yourself a cuneiform tablet. Good luck!